if you too bunny films here at the brand new video and today we're bringing you a brand new tutorial in number Tycoon 2 it's a great day here sun is rising that is amazing and yes yeah, so this is a bit of a big build but it will take up very little space and don't get underestimated or overestimated one of those words by the amount of things you need for this build but i promise you it will be worth it it is a golf cart so also as people requested my last video to increase the volume on my microphone i did so so yeah, I did that, my microphone is much louder, and next video, I am giving away 20 of the new Sawmax, um, 0 to L's. I'm giving 20 away to fans, I'm going to record a video, don't enter in the comment section, it's not a giveaway. At 20,000, I'll do a giveaway. Um, also, I'm about to hit, um, 17,000, that's cool, I am 8 away. But anyways, let's build a golf cart, so... Also, comment below where I should build for my next tutorial. I also do want to build a putting green, which I might do. Hello, Lumber Guy. Anyways, let's go to the list. So, this is going to be white wood. So, you need 9 4x2s, 2 2x2s, 5 4x4 four four tiles, 10 2x2 two two small tiles, 4 1x1x1s, one by one by 2 posts, 2 1 over 2 by one wedges, 1 1 over 2 wedge, 4 1 over 3 by 1 wedges, and 1 1 over 1 wedge. So, that's all the white blueprints here. Next, we're going to move on to the um, red blueprints. So, the white blueprints are birch wood from the um, mountains up there. And then, the wood for the next blueprints are the cherry wood available from trees. That Those ones, like, right there. That look like cotton candy. So, and then you also... We'll need some, like, yellow wood or whatever for the lights. You can choose whatever wood, like, low wood. But I use that, like, yellow wood available only in, t like, uh, for the winter event in Lumber Tycoon 2. Which is not available anymore except for purchase from another player. But anyways, next um, list. So, for the red stuff. not <laughs> That's what's labeled on my list. For the cherry wood items, you need two mundane chairs, eight one over one by one wedges, and four one by one by one cubes. And then for the yellow lights... Um, you just need two tiny tiles, and then for the extra stuff, you need three regular wires and one neon wire. So, the neon wire color does not matter, but it's going to be the steering wheel. So, okay, so let's begin this build. So, what you want to do, you want to go you wanna go to your inventory, you just want to place down a cube here. We're going to remove that later. You want This is going to be the bottom of the golf cart. You want to take your first um, tile, you want to place it on top of that blueprint, and you, know, you really want to make sure that this is one stud above the ground, because I've recorded this tutorial about three times. And each time I've accidentally not placed it high enough so I couldn't do the wheels and then yeah. So you wanna keep you wanna take tiles. Um oh dang this is tight. Um uh, oh, I really need more space. So you wanna place three tiles like this. And then you wanna go to the opposite side. And you wanna place several small tiles. You wanna place six, I believe. So you just have to somehow get your camera back there so you can go like that. So one well no. You want to make sure that the wood grain is proper, so you can go like that. There we go. Next, we're going to grab another one. Two out of six done so far. Well, this isn't. Okay, two out of six done so far now. I'm going to grab another one. Three so far. Let's just get that in there. There we go. And then four. And then five. And then last one. Six. There we go. So, that's that for now. Next, you want to go grab a 4x2. You want to place it on the front right here. This is going to be the front of the golf cart and the hood. And then you want to take another 4x2. You want to rotate. We're going to make a little box on there. So, you want to grab another one. Place it there. And then you want to grab one more and place it right here. So, this will also act as a little storage, secret storage, if you want to store eyeballs in it or whatever. Let's just go ahead and find something we can put in there for now. Hmm, spork. Nope, come on. Come with me, thank you. Let's put that in here. There we go. Much better. So, now we want to get a uh, 1 over 3 by 1 wedge. And you want to place it right here. And then you want to do the same thing on the opposite side. And take a 1 over 3 by 1 wedge. And place it right there. There we go. Should look like this so far. Floating one stud above the ground. And you should have spork in there if you want to have one. So next you want to grab a 1 over 2 wedge. And you want to place this in the middle like this. So you want to have a little lift there. And then you want to have 
a little space there, you want to take two posts and place them right next to each other inside, covering up the hood and hiding your spork in there, whatever other item you put in there. But a spork is the best item to put in there. So once you place two posts there, you want to have this little space here and that little space there. You want to take a little cube, a one by one by one cube, and you want to place it right there. Then you want to take another one by one by one cube, and you want to place it in there. So, next, let's see where we are. Okay. So, next for the hood, you want to grab your two little tiny towels that are made out of some wood that does look like um, headlights on a vehicle. You want to rotate them and place them right there on the car so they're one step away from the edge and they're on the edge. Or, they're on top like that. Whoa. What's that? Okay. Come on. I keep sitting in the chair on accident. So, then you want to place the same thing on the opposite side right there. There we go. That looks perfect. So, next... You want to grab your mundane chairs, these are going to be like the driver's seat and passenger seat on here. So you want to place one there, you want to place one set away from the edge. Because we're going to put a little um, barrier there so the person does not fall out of the car. Wall well, in motion. Golf car. Yeah. T golf cart. There we go. So, next you want to grab a small floor. You want to rotate it. Place it there. Then you do the same thing on that. Whoa. Okay. Oh, they're doing fireworks. Yay. So next, oh hold on, Let's, let, let me look at my OBS. That is really loud, I apologize. So, but you requested louder, so I did louder. So, where are we? Where are we? Okay, we're here in my base. So, you want to take a 4x2, and we just place two 2x2s, two and you want to rotate, and you want to place it right there, and then do the same thing on the opposite side. Like this, and then you want to grab another one. And you want to place it right about here. And then you want to take another one. And then you want to place one on top of the one we just placed. Like right here. There we go. And then you want to... Here, let's give you a quick look of what we have. So you want to use all of your 4 by 2s by now, except for one. Which should be in your hand. This is what it should look like so far. You want to have one stud there. And yeah, so then you want to grab it. And then you want to place it here. There's also another secret space in there. You can put your stuff in there. Let's go get something we can put in there. Let's move that back there. What should I put? Ooh! An eyeball. These things are so rare not JK. Because, like, everyone duplicates them. Because when I see someone with, like, an eyeball pit with, like, 500 eyeballs. Let me do the math really quickly. 500 times 400,000. I mean, that means they spent $200 million on eyeballs. Which is not very realistic. So, uh, I think it's safe to say they're duplicators. Or, like, they bought from a duplicator. But, yeah. So, let's get your one by one over one wedge and you're gonna place it right there like this so there's a nice little slope and it should look like that so next you want to go look for your cubes you should have two left there they are right over here hello you can grab one and you want to place it um right here so it's like that and then you do the same on the opposite side wait no 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 he's in the way excuse me uh I placed it in the wrong place. I'm sorry. Oh, come on. Why won't this select? There we go. And then you want to place it right there. Uh, let's get the wood grain correct. Like that. There we go. So you want to have two studs placed here. Three studs there. Do the same on the opposite side. Like this. There we go. So then you want to grab a 1 over 2 by 1 wedge. You want to rotate it. Place it there. Do the same on the opposite side. Like this. And then you want to rotate. Place that there. The 1 over 3 by 1 wedge. You can place that there. Then you want to do the same on the opposite side like that. And there we go. So, all we have left are the tires, which we'll do now. So, you want to take your tiny floors. These are the 1 by 1 by 1 cubes. And then you want to place f all four of them. You want to have this one two studs away from the edge of the car. And then the same with the back one. You want to go place there. Or not place, but you want to go 1, 2, and then... Two sides away from the edge like that. And then you would do the same on the opposite side. And I wish there was black wood in this game because that would look very nice for the tires. So you would go two studs back like that. There you go. Then you would do the same on the other side. Well, not the other side. Uh, a few studs away, you want to do the same thing. Oh, uh, a tight squeeze. Oh, dang it. So you want to go two studs away. Is that? No, it's not. Okay, let's destroy these walls. I'm sorry. There we go. Oh, let's destroy this too. Okay. 
So, you're going to take a tiny floor now. And you're going to place that under there, two studs away from the edge. There we go. That's very good. And congratulations if you made it this far in the tutorial. You get a sticker. So, you want to place that little... So, we want to get the one over one by one wedges. You want to start placing them one on each side of the little cubes we placed earlier, or just now. So, you want to go like that on each tire. So, I'm going to go to this side. And do that. And then, rotate it 180 degrees. And place that on the opposite side of the tire. Like that. And then, do the same on the opposite side. It keeps saying opposite side. I don't know why, but... Okay, I, I keep saying that. So... Rotate 180 degrees, place there, and then you do the same on the opposite tire. Ah, not opposite tire. Do the same on the other tire. The last tire that you haven't done yet. So, this was supposed to be a prison cell. Didn't get far. Might do it later as a build. But, where is my next? Next. Where is my next wedge? Here we go. So, you're going to rotate 180 degrees and place it under there. So, this is the golf cart so far. You can feel free to stop if you want to, if you like it like this. But we're going to go to the whole next level with a roof. So go into your inventory. You want to look for a 4x4. Four four, and then just for, this is just for reference. You want to place it right here. And then you want to grab a tile. And then you want to go up here. No, oh, dang it. His head's in the way. You want to place it. Like go to the top and then go down one stud like that. Now feel free to raise the roof if you want to. But this is how the roof is going to be built. And if you don't want it like that. uh, Too bad. You can change it. But I'm going to build it like this because that's how it's going to be built. So you want to place one there, like directly above. And then you want to place one here that is directly above uh, two thirds of this one third, one over three by one wedge. It's very complicated that you'll understand it. But yeah. So not even I understand what I just said. But, anyways, you're going to grab your small tiles now. We're going to finish off the roof. So you want to make sure that it looks like this so far. Grab the rest of them. You just want to place them like right next to each other and stuff. So do it like that. There we go. No. That's a bit low. Come on. Come on. I think we have to like tilt it 180 degrees every time we place it's a small tile. I don't know why, but that's just how it is. So, <clears throat> let's place this last one here. There we go. So we finish this, but why is this roof floating? Is he wearing a hat or whatever? No, it's because we still have four wires left. So, you want to take one wire, and then you want to place it, like, in the middle of this little cube here, right here, like that. You want to go up like this, and then you want to go back a bit so it forms, like, a bit of a wedge, or um, the hypotenuse. You want to form a hypotenuse. If you don't know what that is, it's called math. I'm just kidding, it's very complicated stuff. You'll learn it later. So next, you're going to go like this. And then you want to go down right there. There we go. Do the same on the opposite side. Yes, I said opposite again. Yay, I said opposite again. So, you go up a bit. Like that. And then go to the other side of this wall. And place that there. And then go down a bit like that. Here, hold on, let's go back a bit. There we go. Now let's go down. Like that, that looks very nice so far. Now let's go grab a wire, place this here. And then go across and place this there. It's going to be like just some decoration wire stuff. You can also add one on the back if you want, I'm not going to. So next we're going to do the steering wheel. And you also can make your own golf clubs if you want, but I don't play golf, so I don't know what they look like, JK. They're just like little sticks with stuff on the end. So, excuse me, please. Thank you, he's a good fan. Shout out to Nezkin, or Nexon. So anyways, let's do the next, oh dang it. Excuse me, thank you. Thank you, you're a good fan. Shout out to Nensidak or whatever. I'm sorry. Nedak. Oh, dang it, I just got pushed. So, we're going to make an octagon. If you don't know what it is, it's the shape we're making. It has eight sides. It's a stop sign, basically, except with the letters not on it. Uh, people keep sitting in this car. I guess it's a nice car. Uh, let's hop out now. We have to, like... 
come on. Let's go right. Uh, come on. There we go. And then you just want to fill this in like this. You can just do whatever. Just make sure that the steering. Oh, dang it. So, place it there. Go there. Go there. Go there. And. Go there. There we go. So we finished the tutorial. Good job if you made it this far. If you have, give yourself a pat on the back. Yeah, you built a golf cart. So if you built this, good job. Tweet me pictures at bunnyfilms1 on Twitter. Link in the description to my Twitter, I think. I think there's a link, but yeah. So this is a golf cart build. I hope you did enjoy it. Comment below your suggestions for the next build. I think we're going to do like a little mini putt putt green thing. For, like It's like a mini golf course thing so stay tuned subscribe if you learned something let's like hope by the time i upload this it's gonna we're gonna be at um like a lot of subscribers so that'd be cool so yeah youtube have a great day and i'll see you in the next video goodbye